What's really happening? I'm Anthony Brown, your host for the day. Welcome to another edition of the HBCU House Party. I am so glad to be here once more and again. Real quick, let's jump in right into the show. Welcome my co-host for the day. I got Lester Holmes and Monique Robinson, both from Wilberforce University. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, okay. Welcome to the show, guys. How y'all doing? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you for um, having me on. Listen, always, always, always good to have both of y'all. Matter of fact, I'm gonna sit in between both of my Wilberforceans. You know, the first, the finest. <laughs> I'm, gonna sit, I'm gonna sit between y'all today. So listen, real quick, let's talk about some HBC news you can use. Now, here is a hot topic for today. What I heard is 101 HBCUs get nearly seven times less money than one other school in the country. Now, that must change. What would you think about that, guys? Definitely needs to change, but it has to start with us, you know, as alums to get that taken care of. That's this just is so my, true. my opinion. So, <laughs> according to the article we read in the Washington Post, HBCUs, make up only 3% of the country's colleges and universities, but they enroll 10% of all African-Americans uh, and produce nearly 20% of all African-American graduates across the country. Now, the primary driver of HBCUs is, is moving low-income Black people into the middle class. Now, that even though there's been an uptick in support of HBCUs recently, you know, since the pandemic, you know, and, and the whole Black Lives Matter, um, some state legislators and major corporations are rethinking how they want to invest in HBCU strategies. But the magnitude is still a large gap between this 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 action. Now, I'm wondering what can, you know, I don't know anything we could do as alumni about this. A couple things. Number one, I think I think some of the things we need to do, we need to make sure that the community is properly supporting the HBCUs in our various cities, mm. towns, make sure that we're getting the support um, not only from the local government, but from the state and even federal government. We all know the stories about some governments shortchanging our institutions, and we're talking about decades worth of money that's owed. So we need to collect on some of these invoices that we have out there pertaining to the funding of our HBCUs so we can close that gap um, with some other PWI institutions as far as the way they're funded. Secondly, we need to hold our corporate community accountable. Mm. We need to make sure that they're doing all they can do to support these institutions that's providing you great employees. You know, you come down for career fair day, you come down, you take our talent, you use our talent, but do you invest in our talent so when so we can have the next generation of engineers, the next generation of doctors, the next um, next generation of lawyers. What are you doing to invest just as you invest in these PWI institutions? What are you doing to invest in our institutions? Not only with internship opportunities and opportunities for golf, but financial opportunities so we can expand our curriculum, so we can pay our great educators, so we can build on our campuses. What We got to hold these institutions accountable in order to see growth. And you let you know, so thinking of that, you know, here's the thing when you talk about the PWIs, that one institution receives seven times more research funding than all of our HBCUs combined. And that one institution is John Hopkins University. Seven times more funding than all of our HBCUs combined. I believe John Hopkins is in Maryland, Baltimore area. Yes. So... I know the city of Baltimore is invested with that university.
But however, Baltimore has some HBCUs in its vicinity. We need to also make sure that Baltimore is invested in the growth of those HBCUs that's around their city and their, their county and their area. Listen, so as HBCUs, we must no longer be expected to do more with less. Thank you for the federal government for taking some more time to, to invest, for the corporations and funders that are investing more, to our entertainers and our celebrities that are investing more, and even to our alumni that are investing more because our scholars deserve just as much as any other student on any other college campus. So that was a hot topic for today. Now, listen, we got a lot more we want to talk about, but before we go any further, we got to take a quick commercial break. Um, shout out again to the Daily Gospel Network, our new home. For the HBCU alumni house party coming up right after this break, we have the one and only. She was a former campus queen herself. Now she's doing some great things, bringing in the next generation of students. Her name is Miss Tanrika Smith. She's director of enrollment management at Wiley College. We'll be talking to her next, right after this. Hey, boss. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. You sure? I said I'm fine. Since I was little, it was only like me and my parents. You think you created family out of characters? Yeah, <laughs> of course. I'm gonna take that and make it into a song. For more than 75 years, UNCF, the United Negro College Fund, has worked to combat deep-rooted obstacles to higher educational access, achievement, and career success, annually providing financial and educational support to our 37-member historically black colleges and universities. Please give what you can. UNCF, our HBCUs, and our students appreciate you and your donation, no matter how big or small. A mind is a terrible thing to waste. The thing that drives me every day as a dad is him. Every day he's hungry for something. And there's this huge responsibility in making sure that he's a good person. I think the advice I would give is you don't need to know all the answers. It's okay to make mistakes. As long as it's coming from love, then it kind of starts to work itself out. Listen, you already know that the HBCU experience is like no other college experience. And as a matter of fact, it is an experience that you will remember for the rest of your life. Now, not only should you be able to remember the time, you should also be able to represent the memory with a life on the yard apparel. Now, these shirts allow you to bring a little bit of nostalgia back by allowing you to wear the memories of being on the yard, especially from some of those landmarks that no longer exist. This is my freshman film right here. Now, right now, you can represent those memories and your dorm life and support the HBCU Alumni Care Campaign with your purchase. It's really easy. Just go to www.lotyapparel.com and search for your HBCU and dorm. Use the promo code HBCU Live and $2 for each purchase will be support the campaign. Now, if you don't see your school or your dorm, just drop the company a message, use the contact us tab, and they will work on supporting your request. So what are you waiting for? Purchase a shirt, support the campaign, and represent those memories with light on the yard apparel. Your HBCU experience. And don't forget to use the promo code HBCU Live. Hey, welcome back to the show again. I'm Anthony Brown. Got my good friends Monique and Lester from Wilberforce University. So glad for you all to be here with us again for the HBC on the house party. Listen, we're going to jump right into it. We got our good friend all the way from Wiley College, Danrika Smith. How you doing, love? I'm doing really good. How are you today? Listen, I wish I had all that sunshine that you got coming through that window right about now. Is it sunshine or Texas heat? <laughs> 
Listen, so how is everything down in Texas? Oh man, things are wonderful. The Office of Admissions, we are preparing to welcome our new incoming class. And of course, I'm pretty sure you heard some of the great news that's happening here at Wiley. Oh, we gonna hold that thought. Don't tell <laughs> it all right now. Don't don't feel it. Don't spill all the tea right now. So, all right. Anyway, so Tanrika, let everyone know again. I know that you are the director of admissions or enrollment services, yada, yada, yada. But let everyone know who you are, what you represent, and all those great things. Well, um, prior to becoming the director of enrollment, I was a student here at Wiley College. And I had the experience of being Miss National United Negro College Fund. Wiley College, my institution, has a rich legacy with the UNCF, and I happen to be one of nine. Uh, Wiley, we are famous for our speech and debate team, and I'm also an alum of that program as well. So um, I'm just happy to be back at home and serve not only Wiley College, but another UNCF institution. Well, you mean to tell me that you were part of the great debaters that during your time? At, at I Wiley? was, I was, and that's why we're so enthusiastic. <laughs> wow, wow. Okay, so now talk about your student enrollments. So, what have been some? And since you just got into this role, what have been like some of your your accomplishments you've been able to make so far? Well, you know, I will definitely say that we just welcome this Saturday a class of just amazing scholars for our Summer Bridge program. It's probably about the second largest summer bridge program, you know, since its inception here at Wiley. Also, we are slated to have just a phenomenal class of students um, come along and come aboard. There's still space available. So there's any students out there who want to come and join us um, and be a part of this great moment and all the things that we're offering from um, every student receiving a $2,500 scholarship to lower housing deposit fees to $37 so we can meet the economic needs of our students across the country, come aboard. Um, this year, we'll probably have an extremely diverse class from students from the Midwest, the East Coast, the West Coast, Texas, Louisiana. Um, and we are just proud of not only the number of students that will be joining us, but also the representation of such a diverse class on our campus. Now, Monique, don't, don't you have a, a, did you say you have a student that wants to go to Wiley or? And they're coming. <laughs> I was like, Tanrika, I need help. And she, honestly, she was right there. She was like, this is what I need you to send me. And she did it. And that parent is so excited because yes. I was so, like, Look, he need to be there. <laughs> Every incoming student you said was able to, uh, were, were, was I had the opportunity to raise, to get how much in scholarship money? So every incoming student, every new student, doesn't matter if you are a transfer, if you are incoming freshman, if you have left us, and you decided you wanted to come back, you will get a $2,500 scholarship just for attending Wiley College. So now, Lester and I were talking about something earlier about how we were, you know, just about how our institutions have been gifting and supporting our scholars. And whether most of the times at graduation, but now here you all are using some of the dollars that you all have raised through other sources. And now, not only are you, you know, you're helping the incoming freshman class. Yes, incoming freshmen, transfers, readmits. Come on. <laughs> uh, now, I don't know, Lester and, and, and Monique, that sounds like a challenge to watch to, to Wilberforce. <laughs> we're, we're we're all right. We're, we're we're doing what we need to do. Um, you know, we 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 support all HBCUs and everybody, you know, everybody's finding their 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 niche um to do the work and you know we we support our HBCUs doing what they do with their with their part of the vineyard. So we're we're definitely in support. So now, speaking of their part of the vineyard, now Wiley College, no stranger, like you said earlier, no stranger to the UNCF family. You've been around, you all have been doing the thing with the National Miss UNCF for a number of years. Yeah. But now, just recently, you all did a, a major um, celebration and donation to an anonymous donor. Yes. To, to really inspire your your graduating class of 2022 to go forth inspired. And you all gifted the, the graduating class. Yes, we did. Um, Matter of fact, we're going to show this clip real quick. I got a quick little clip to, to see, see the excitement from, from the president. Let's, let's play this clip real quick. You are debt free. You do not owe the college a penny. If you have a balance, you had a balance. 
you no longer have a balance. I give you, a you don't owe if you owe them a penny, you don't even have to pay that back. That the, what was what was the you had you were there I know you were what so, was the synergy from the audience our parents it was, family uh, friends oh paint it so it was definitely an electrifying moment here at the college number one President Felton he kept secrets no one knew right the students in the audience didn't know faculty staff we didn't know um, one thing I will say is that you know I don't have a mic to drop but I have a pen and it's like that's what he did he dropped you know he dropped the mic so for all those students to really walk away with no debt to the college. That is just really incredible. And it's something that we wish for all students. Certainly I wish it for myself. Nonetheless, um, congratulations to the graduating class of 2022. And I can definitely say that that moment inspired so many students to apply to Wiley. Um, so we're just incredibly proud and excited and um, grateful for our anonymous donor as well. Okay. So if anyone wants to get more information that they still want to apply, they still want to see if they can apply for the scholarship. How do they reach out to you? How do they, what do I need to do? If I'm a high school senior, right? A graduating senior who just graduated, I still haven't made up my mind and I happen to see this program. What do I need to do? So apply on our website, www.wileyc.edu. Um, right now our applications fees are being waived. Um, and then give us a call, right? Ask us about our academic programs and all the many amazing things that we have to offer. Our number is area code 903-927-3311. Wow, that is absolutely. Now, is there a test score? Are you, are you all requiring HD and SD test scores? No, 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 no. So our admissions requirements, as long as the student has um, a 2.0 or higher, welcome to Wiley College. And if you have below, of course, we can work through that. Um, okay. But automatic acceptance for a 2.0 GPA or higher. www.wileyc.edu. Yes. Absolutely. Go forth inspired. That's it. That is Where a is model right do? there. That, <laughs> that model right there will preach. <laughs> Listen, ladies and gentlemen, we had this is the incomparable, beautiful, the talented Tanrika Smith from Wiley College. Thank you so very much. Listen, we'll be right back with more of the HBCU Alumni House Party right after this. Honey, what I think you need is a socket wrench. I played JV basketball. I'm sorry. I don't think it looks right. This I is good, that. and it's all is good, it, baby. Is it really all good? If you love me enough to routinely test your handyman skills, not to mention the strength of your marriage, then of course you'll visit nhtsa.gov slash the right seat to make sure I'm in the right car seat. I'm gonna call my dad. Hey everyone, let me tell you about exclusively HBCU. They are more than your typical subscription box service. Their mission is to highlight and collaborate with other HBCU alums and entrepreneurs while providing opportunities and scholarships to current and future HBCU scholars. And did I mention they have a really great product line like this and this and even this. The company's aim is to bring awareness to HBCU's this rich history and showcase why our alma maters are still relevant and essential today. Now, they want to continue their support by donating 10% of each sale to the United Negro College Fund by using the promo code UNCF at checkout. So go check out their website at www.exclusivelyhbcu.com and grab you something nice for yourself or that HBCU student of yours. Better yet, Sign up for the quarterly subscription box and use promo code UNCF at the checkout. And by the way, tell them that your Uncle Anthony is sent you. If you need to do something to feel okay to drive, you're not okay to drive. 
Don't drive buzzed. Hey world, I have a quick message. It's about safe driving. All right, let's go. Anytime you're driving, have the seatbelt buckle tight. Both hands on the wheel and your phone out of sight. We're not in your hand trying to text somebody back. Because if you do, your car might get smacked. The moral of the story, just put your phone down. The people on the road will stay safe and sound. Put your phone down, put your phone down. People on the road will stay safe and sound. Yeah. <laughs> Hey Mason. Hey Mason. Thank you. I think I finally found a place to make my home. A place that I call home. This place that I call home. Hey, welcome back to the show. Listen, did y'all hear the fact that a student can get $2,500? Yes. That that's, is amazing. Yes. That, that, that is significant. Um, that's significant for, for those families. Um, because, you know, some of us don't come to school with riches. Some of us Some of us come to school barely scraping by. And the reason we're going to school is to better our financial situation for what it currently is. So that's certainly a blessing. I can see that being a relief to many families in, in that in that HBCU community. Hey, real quick, before we get out of here, I got one more HBCU news you can use. Anybody a wrestling fan? I am. A long time ago. And I'm not talking about the WWE <laughs> type wrestling. I'm talking about real collegiate wrestling. So, HBCU is now, this one particular HBCU is now starting a wrestling program. They are, they are into the day. Yeah, they, it's coming back. It's a comeback in Texas. Texas HBCU Jarvis Christian University, by the way, if you didn't know, University. Athletic Director Bobby Lander announced that the addition of a men's and women's wrestling program in an expansion program with the athletic department. Now, this wrestling program is one of the first established at an HBCU. Competition starts this fall, and the head coaches for the men and women's program will be announced real soon. Now, Dr. Newman, Lester Newman, the president of JCU, said wrestling is one of the oldest sports in the world and Jarvis Chris's newest athletic sport. What y'all think about that? I'm for it. I, I think we need a more um, diverse sport arena for our HBCUs. Uh, we have one even to start in a gymnastics team. So I think I think it's needed. OK, OK. Now, I, I, I know they're part of the, the NAIA conference, so they'll be probably playing some other um schools in their in their conference for that but i think that's that's a first i think i've not i've never heard of any other hbc that had a wrestling program so often you do see students who are in that program in in high school so here now we got a, a school that we can start to to send them to and or at least have some of those coaches maybe i need to add wrestling to my hbcu combine series you know it, whatever we need whatever we can do to encourage our young people to go to our schools we we need to do that there are schools that offer wrestling um, it's a great sport. One of the uh, as as the professor or as the president said from from Jarvis Christians, one of the oldest sports sports in the world. Um, again, whatever we can do to attract our kids to the vineyard, back to our area, back to our schools, we need to take advantage of it. So, shout out to Jarvis Christian College for putting a wrestling program together, and may it bear great fruit for them. Awesome sauce. All right, so listen, I want to again thank Tarika Smith, the Director of Enrollment Services, Enrollment Management at Wiley College for being our guest for today and sharing some of that great news. As always, I appreciate Lester, you being here today uh, as a part of our production team and Monique also always having you here. And shout out to our tech guy in the back, our good friend Tony in the background. Hey, before we get up out of here, well, real quick, let me go around the room real quick. Monique, you got anything you need to share with us before we get up out of here? Definitely take Tamrika Miss Smith, take her serious. I promise you, I called her. She instantly answered. It was about two weeks ago, I'm being honest. And my student is now going to Wiley. So 
Take her serious. Take the number. Apply. You'll get in. <laughs> Lester, anything you, any party words, anything you want to share with our viewing audience for the day? I just want to thank the viewing audience for for watching this this program with us as as we grow this program as we grow this band brand we're we're certainly very excited about its potential and we're looking forward to advancing the case for HBCUs all HBCUs and and alumni and all that right there so we're we're just grateful and thankful for the opportunity and we look forward to growing and expanding with you. Awesome sauce. Hey, as always. We appreciate you joining us today on right here on the Daily Gospel Network. You can check us out on Apple TV, on Roku TV, uh, on we're streaming on Facebook and on YouTube and some other places. Daily Gospel Network TV uh, website, all of that, and then some. It's just a whole lot going on. We're gonna actually eventually invite um, some some players, some of the power players. Um, that make up George Sanders. Definitely. We're going to bring him on um, the next couple of weeks. You know, he is actually a Southern University graduate and who started this whole network um, and all this platforming and all this great stuff. Baby, hey, before we get up out of here, you know how we always like to do? We want to give you an inspirational message for today. So we got today's Inspire Me moment is about life changes fast. So let's see what, what we got to say for today. Hey everyone, here's another Inspire Me moment in 60 seconds. And today's thought is, life changes fast. Life changes in an instant, the ordinary instant. Things don't need to happen during a grandiose moments of your life. Change can happen at a snap when you least expect it. You could be here today and gone before you finish this message. I want to encourage you to live your life out loud with no regrets. Make each breath you take and every move you make impactful because in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, it can change. Will you be ready? That's all I got for you today. Remember to do all the things on social media. Now go out and make the day absolutely amazing. As always, thank you for doing all the social media things such as like, comment, follow, subscribe, and share this message on all your media platforms. Even more, hit the bell notification so you never miss a video or an upload. Thank you again for watching. On next week's show, I can tell you right now, the topic, one of the topics we're going to talk about is if not for black colleges, mm, where would we be? So let that just sit in your, in, just let that sit there in your, in, your, in your spirit for a moment. Just think about if it had not been for black colleges, dot, dot, dot. And we're going to talk about that next week. Hey, thanks again for watching. You've been watching the HBC Alumni House Party. Until next time, shoot for the moon if you miss. You will always be amongst the stars. We'll see you next week, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to another fabulous segment of the HBCU House Party with your host, Anthony Brown. Tune in next week for more fun, education, and inspiration as we spotlight historically black universities and colleges all over the country. So, until next time, support an HBCU and help cultivate the wealth of talent these universities and colleges have to offer. You never know, the student you help could be the next one to change the world.